Asylum of the Three Immortals by High King of Numenor. Batten down the hatches, make peace with your gods, and prepare for an epic tale of incompetence and badassery. When playing Dwarf Fortress, I make a habit of periodically retiring my fortress to spawn an adventurer from there, and have an adventure and then come back to settle down. Not only do they make for great carvings, but I get the benefit of unstoppable demigods mining out everything in sight. This is usually worth the several weeks of lost fortress time, however it has come back to bite me a few times. For instance, in my newest fort, I realised that I was incredibly close to a necromancer's tower, so of course when it came time to temporarily retire my fort and create an adventurer, I went straight to the tower and stole not only the slab, which weighed truly a ridiculous amount, but also all of the books, figuring that they'd be useful somehow. I brought all this loot back, but not before reading the slab and learning the secrets of life and death, dropped it in the middle of my fortress, and promptly retired. Retaking control of my fortress, I find that my new semi-divine citizen was doing quite well, and installed as a captain of the guard. Things seem to be going well. That alone should have tipped me off. When I next made an adventurer, planning on having them be a kick-ass diplomat, the other shoe dropped. My up until now harmless necromancer captain had gotten into the butcher's shop and reanimated everything. The bastard. I actually managed to kill three of the various body parts gone bad, but after sustaining serious wounds from the fourth, I turned to the only thing I could think of. If necromancy was what had gotten me into this problem, by god it's what was going to get me out of it. You see, becoming a necromancer automatically doubles all stats. After the epic battle was done, I retired the adventure without even leaving the fort, not willing to try my luck further, and I decided two things. One, that my dwarves were going to live a vegan lifestyle from here on out, and two, I was done with making adventurers. Of course, that didn't help in the slightest. When the next wave of filthy, useless, etc. migrants arrived, I noticed something... off. People were being found dead, drained of blood. After a quick wiki walk, I knew exactly what was going on. Vampires. After a bit of detective work, I figured out who the vampire was, and sensing opportunity, created a special unit, consisting of the vampire and the necromantic wonder twins. After infecting the twins with vampirism, via a tainted water supply and patience, I dug out a new section of the fort just for the three, giving each of the three gracious accommodations, with golden trinkets, gems, and beautifully carved statues. Then I sealed it off, both from the outside world and the rest of the fort, never to open again. These three unaging dwarves, not needing to eat, drink, or even breathe, would theoretically live forever, ensuring my fortress's immortality, as the fort only ends when the fat lady sings, or in this case, last dwarf dies. I left the three to their business and got back to mismanaging my fort. As it turns out, I didn't have long left before I accidentally pierced a hollow vein of adamantine, releasing unnumbered hordes of bloodthirsty demons who went through my fortress like a chainsaw through a toddler. I managed to collapse the section of the fort that held the demons, but at the cost of my last mortal dwarf. I figured that while this may be a temporary setback, at least I have the three backup dwarves, all immortal, all needing a drink. Sadly, they were in absolutely no condition to work. Their clothes had long since rotted away, slowly degrading their mental stability. The screams of ghosts kept them from sleeping, as well as sending them into depressive cycles. And then, to make matters worse, one of them, the vampire if I remember correctly, was caught by a fey mood. A fey mood is when a dwarf is taken over by an unceasing compulsion to create an artifact. If this desire is not sated, they will go mad. This didn't end well. Driven mad by the combination of undead screams, bodies littering the floor, and the 
inability to find silk, the three dwarves went insane, one by one. Now I'm left with a smoking ruin of a fort, sealed from the world, filled with the screams of the dead, the miasma-choked halls patrolled endlessly by the three immortal dwarves, all long gone insane. Needless to say, I consider this fort a resounding success. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Asylum of the Three Immortals. If you want to read the original text, you can find it in the description. This episode was illustrated by the very talented Peter Faustino. Please check out their other stuff too. Today's honorable mention is Sociopathic Dwarves, a story about what happens when you let your dwarves do as they please.